Hey, today we will talk about physiological arousal as a way to measure stress. As we have talked before, stress produces physiological arousal reflected in the functioning of many of our body systems. One way to measure it is, is um, using blood pressure, heart rate, respiration rate, or galvanic skin response. They can all be measured separately or you can use polygraphs to measure it in one go. Most of you probably know polygraphs as a lie detector. So what a lie detector actually measures is the stress or anxiety you feel when you lie. Another way to measure arousal is to do biochemical analysis of blood, urine or saliva samples. The level of hormones that the adrenal glands secrete during stress are measured. Usually the hormones measured are corticosteroids, cortisol being the most important one, and catecholamines, which include epinephrine and norepinephrine. Now that we talked about ways to measure stress, let's talk about pros and cons. The advantage of using physiological arousal to measure stress is physiological measures are reasonably direct, objective, reliable, and can be easily quantified. But on the other hand, it can be expensive, and physiological arousal are affected by a person's gender, body weight, activity prior to or during measurement, and consumption of various substances. For example, drinking coffee.